One of the most influential and mysterious of all the world's civilizations that have arisen to the heights of empire is of course the culture of the Mayan civilization. We keep learning more about these people, who they were and why they vanished, but in the throes of chaos that light our way in our journey of understanding, surprises are not exactly few and far between, and this latest find is of major importance. Maya architecture is best characterized by the soaring pyramid temples and ornate palaces which were built in all Mayan centers across Mesoamerica. The Mayan civilization was formed of independent city-states and consequently there are regional variations in architecture but almost all buildings were constructed with a precise attention to position and layout and a general style prevails. Ancient Maya government was formed on the basis that rulers were thought to have been godlike, which to some might suggest one unified state. However, the consensus amongst anthropologists supports that each major Maya city remained its own independent and sovereign entity with its own unique struggles for political power. The Maya belief in godlike rulers also made it important to keep the line of power in the family, which would occasionally include a woman ruler. The height of this civilization was in the classic period that produced the incredible cultural advances from which they are well known. The Maya believed deeply in the cyclical nature of life. Nothing was ever born and nothing ever died. And this belief inspired their view of the gods and the universe. Their cosmological views in turn encouraged their imaginative efforts in architecture, mathematics, and astronomy. The latest find emerging from Chichen Itza is in that of a solid stone table that is carved with scenes from Mayan historical events. Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History has found a thousand year old piece of a limestone table inscribed with hieroglyphics and human figures in the so-called Temple of the Snails at Chichen Itza. Together, these stones measure about five feet long by four and one half feet wide. The images include possible prisoners of war tied with ropes. Osario Leon said the table was carved in Chichen Itza and moved to the Temple of the Snails from another location and is dating to around the 9th century at this location. However, this was reused at this location and the original age is unknown. The pre-Columbian piece was reused as a table, that is, it does not correspond to the Temple of Snails, and although it was carved in Chichen Itza, the exact place where it was placed when that was and subsequently taken to is unknown. It is thought that the stone table served as an altar, but its true age is unknown. One of the researchers who uncovered the artifact says, they correspond to research and rescue of sectors of Chichen Itza that include secondary cores adjacent to the central area. The area where INAH specialists currently work is located 800 meters south of the ceremonial complex and it is connected to the main archaeological site. He further explained that it covers an area of 150 meters north-south by 125 meters east-west. And on a walled platform, there are eight main structures, three platforms, and other housing complexes. The building has six accesses. The main one is the form of a large arch with a vault and rounded walls. More than 50 workers are contributing to return the splendor to Chichen Itza with an investment of 3 million pesos. The buildings that are intervened are the structure of the stucco, the temple of the sacrifices, the palace of the columns, and the house of the snails, among others that will receive cleaning and general maintenance. And these kind of discoveries 
are only likely to intensify as the uncovering of these things continues in the years and decades ahead. Anywho, we thought this discovery was noteworthy and we just wanted to bring it to the attention of the Lost History Channel subscribers to gain some insight into what you guys think of this latest discovery from the Mayan ruins. We hope you guys are having a stress-free holiday season and we will, of course, be back just shortly with more content from the historical past that has been forgotten about and rediscovered much to the confusion of civilization today. We are piecing the past together, guys, and we hope you can join us on the journey. Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. One of the most interesting things about this, of course, it's a world famous structure, but there is another pyramid inside of it. I know that because I was inside of it about 30 years ago. I'm going to show you the door, which is the access to it. So that is the door by which you used to be allowed inside of this massive pyramid at Chichen Itza. The only round structure, and obviously that's why they, fig they figured out that it's a astronomical observatory. Beautiful light. 